Val, so uh, what do you think of the show so far? It's been pretty cool, huh? Yeah, lots of nice guests. Very Some nice guests. Conversation. And, and now we have somebody that's very close to us, Val, right? Very close to our heart, Mr. Mike Can, the president of Mass Can Normal. He's coming on right now with us. How are you, Mike? Great. How you doing, King of Pod and Valerie? Doing. Good to talk to you. Yeah, nice to talk to you. It's been a while. I know that since after the rally, um, you've got your own radio show now on here on Unregular Radio on Saturdays. Tell us about it. Yeah, it's uh, two hotheads on cannabis, four to six p.m. We do four twenty every Saturday over there. Epstein and the lawyer, as we call him, <laughs> lawyer. Uh, you know, me and him, he and I, we get pretty fired up. And, yeah, I've heard hence of the name of the show. <laughs> two hotheads on cannabis. What's that? Hence the name of the show, Two Hot Heads on Cannabis. Oh, yeah. yeah. And and this week's show on Saturday, you know, tomorrow, it's even going to be more fired up, I think. Oh, because I... of some of the guests we're going to have. We're going to be talking about legalization with, a gro- with someone who, who, you know, represents the grower side. And uh, what we're talking about, what we're going to be talking about today, I mean, I'm, I'm so fired up about what's happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah and that's, and that's yeah. one of the reasons why, if you heard earlier in the show... And uh, we mentioned it uh, with previous guests is that the Boston Herald is hell bent on uh, making up stupid lies about our decrim bill and that marijuana causes uh, violence. Michael, can you give us some insight of what's going on with this with the Boston Herald? Well, you kind of implied that there's money behind this or. You know, I'm not, I'm not going to say if there's money behind it from the Herald, but I, I think what you're seeing is there's. You know, it's, it's, I'm going to quote Stephen Epstein, sour grapes from the reefer mat. Uh, uh, the folks are upset that campaign, you know, there was only one group that visibly campaigned against question two in the state that funded, they took money out of their own paychecks to contribute against the campaign for uh, question two. And that was the district attorneys. Right. They're public servants being paid by us. The Martha and- Coakley's of the world. The Martha Coakley's, the Jerry Leone, who is the Middlesex District Attorney right now, uh, Dan Conley, who, who represents the Boston area for uh, District Attorneys, um, Jonathan Blodgett, who's up on the North Shore. These guys and ladies are upset that uh, marijuana was decriminalized, that they had the media, they have their political offices, and it wasn't enough to, to sway the voters. The voters didn't buy into their, into their reefer madness. Mm-hmm. Well, it seems like the opinion poll that the Herald took after their their article didn't support uh, their article either. Uh, say that again. The opinion the poll that the the opinion poll that the Herald took after they had the article in the paper. Oh yes, that's a great point. Isn't that very revealing? Oh yeah, yeah. You even know, the, even poll, the Herald readers, and, which and, are and myself, the poll was very stilted the way that they you know laid out the questions, and they had three responses, and by far sixty percent. It was almost as many votes as we got for GCRM. People still support. Bikram, even the, the right wing readers of the Boston Herald, uh, you know, it's not working. And right. I think that they're trying some new tactics with there's more violence because of marijuana decrim, which is a complete joke. There's more <laughs> violence around ma- the marijuana trade because it's illegal and because of prohibition. And that's not just in Massachusetts. That is nationwide. Right. Well, it happens in Nebraska. They don't have decrim. They're finding more marijuana grows in every single city and state. Oh my God, the cases, country. the cases that they cited in the Herald too. I, I I remember reading about them when they happened, and I don't think that marijuana was prominently featured as reasons why these these uh, killings happened. Now all of a sudden, they're publishing it as if all of these are related to decrim. So I think yeah, they're really yeah. twisting Adam, the truth. Adam Savini from Wampa Mass. Uh, you know, I I think that. You know, they're saying if, if men, marijuana is mentioned at all in the commission of a crime, I think that that was what they were trying to go for. Because as far as I could tell from all the newspapers I read about it, and even talking to one of his friends who we're hoping to have on the show tomorrow. On the oh, TV good. Show, oh, really? Uh, yeah. One of Adam's friends that I, I'm, I'm friends with, hopefully we will have him on to talk about the case. It's a touchy subject, so we're not sure if he'll be able to make it. But, th- you know, he's, he's upset and disgusted as a friend. Because this wasn't about marijuana, it was about pills. You know, I mean, you now you have someone who was robbed over pills and they're throwing it in and saying, oh, it's because of decrim. Yeah. It's like, hello, Gerald, Gerard Leone, Leone, you know exactly what happened in this case. You know exactly what's going on, and you're twisting it for your political ends. 
I thought, am I wrong? Let me ask you both this. I thought the police, and the police in the state said, and the DAs, and that they're public officials, and then if they don't make policy, have they said that? And then we just enforce it. Haven't they said that before to us? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and now they're trying to use their public offices to create to create new law. Is that isn't that what they're well, to overturn they're the will of the people? Yeah, overturn the will of the people. the people, Which ignoring our, our vote, ignoring our will. It's, they're using our, our money against us. Well, they're doing exactly what they said they wouldn't do, and they, you know, they're the first ones to turn around and, and call organizations like MassCan and the local marijuana reform movement a bunch of liars that we we don't tell the truth. Well, I'm calling them out. They're not telling the truth. Good. That's right. You know, I respect the police. I respect the, the work that they do. Of course. The risk that they take, that they protect our families from real mm -hmm. crime and real criminals. But I, I'm pissed. Yep. They're, they're right lying so. to us. Yep. Right. They're, they're using their office to campaign against us. Yep. That, that should never happen in in, in this democracy. That that's that goes against every. Everything that I, that this democracy stands for, that this country stands for, that the police are now campaigning to change the law. Yeah, I How saw your that? letter. Did they? They did publish your, your. They published your letter, Mike, that you wrote to the Herald. Actually, I haven't written a letter. I let Stephen Epstein write a letter. Whose wrote, letter was uh, it that I read on your blog? You know, I, I think a lot of times uh, that was on another writer. Actually, I don't have the name right. In front it of was me, perfect. He posted his letter that he, that he posted it that he wrote, and it was published today, I believe. And it was perfect. Uh, yeah, Mr. Epstein wrote even, uh, you know, even a, a better letter. You know, a lot of times with these letters, it's they get a lot of them and they decide to print one or two. And uh, I, I know of no one that does a better, writes a better letter than Stephen Epstein. That's so sure. I <laughs> hope that they publish his letter. Yeah, you know, I know for a lot of times he's so, he does so well that they that they, you know, the Herald has uh, political bias, and they don't want to print it. So That's right. we'll see. I'm challenging the Boston Herald. Print Stephen Epstein's letter. Let us let us present our side. Since you ran, I think about six stories this week. Yeah. With one sentence from one guy from MPP who's not even in the state of Massachusetts. They that was that was the other side. The 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 sixty percent, sixty five percent. Of voters, they they let it be represented by one guy who doesn't live in the state, and one sentence buried fourteen paragraphs down, <laughs> versus unlimited space and time for these DAs who are reefer mad. Who Jerry Leone says there's a thousand joints in an ounce. Yeah, <laughs> boy, I wish. <laughs> yeah, we were saying that who earlier. Jeez, who are these guys? Uh, well, it's the readers how of the Herald are buying it. How many joints do you get in an ounce? Typically, the, the king of pot, not many.